People to clear from the baseline. So here we go. Tip controlled by the Falcons and straight away Munga, good look and gets an easy layup. And it's been the big problem for the Bulls. And now that's the other problem is the turnovers and Munga's going to get two in a row. Just like that, within 15 seconds, it's 4 nothing to the Falcons. Straight away, they trap heavily. And again, another turnover. So the pressure already getting to the Bulls. Here's Evans. Oh, she carried that. Yep. Lost control. So I may have said Jessica Ralph got the start. It was actually Anna Fernandez Ara, number two. And now there's a five-second violation. Five second violation on the uh, Newcastle team currently fourth in the ladder with an 11 and five record, starting out hot. Ara, Evans, Johnson hits. Megan Johnson splashes it from the corner, and just like that, within a minute, it's six zip. Nice press break there to pass to Perich. Misses, gets her own board. Again, misses. Johnson clears. Kate Kingham. Evans. Munger pulls the trigger. Got it. Nicole Munger coming out with seven of Newcastle's first nine points. Right, Ponder pulls up and hits. So the first basket for the Bulls, courtesy of LaShayla Wright Ponder. And much needed to be sure. Evans. Hand off Bunga. Evans fires. Sturt and clears. Tries to find Wright Ponder, but beautifully knocked away by Munger. Ara, Munger, feeling it, got it. Ten points for Nicole Munger, including two triples in the opening two minutes. And already this thing is getting out of hand. Sturt, nice little dribble drive from Georgia. And the former standout Gonzaga cuts the margin to eight. Ara. Castle running a horn set. Johnson goes in and is fouled by Maya Perich, and Megan Johnson will go to the line for two. Blocking foul is just to number eight. Maja, her first. First team foul for the Bulls is Megan Johnson at the line. 54% foul shooter on the season. We have a line driver. Knocks that down. One more to come. Two for two. Falcons lead is 10. Again, the pressure. This time they break it. Bulls have got numbers. Abby O'Flynn gets it back, leaves it short. And... They fight and saying it's tied up. Good hustle there from Abby O'Flynn, Inner West captain, having a good season. There's a look for the inbound pass. O'Flynn. Perich. Goes up. Travelling violation on Meyer. And again, another turnover. That's in the West have got four in the opening three minutes. King. Johnson. Evans. Goes up and misses, but draws the foul from right Ponder, who can't believe it. And Evans will go to the line for two. Foul to number 12, Lashayla, her first. Johnson will take a seat. And 
Jessica Relf in the ball game as Evans knocks it down. As I mentioned, having a tremendous season. 21 points, 11 rebounds, and one or two at the line there. Right Ponder to O'Flynn. Sturt, normally a good three point shooter. O'Flynn. Perich. This is where Wright Ponder can go to work. And she misses that layup. Good defense from Evans there. Forced a tough one. Ralph. Kingham. Three. Ralph will corral the O board. Evans. Nice little up fake. Evans to the rack. Draws the foul. And she will go back to the line for two. He's a 75% Power shooter on the air is Evans. Tasman Haynes enters the ball game for the Bulls. Knocks down the first and he's just joining us. Evans will be heading off in about less than two weeks to the University of Michigan. She misses the second there. Gabby Turnbull with the board. So Newcastle's chances without Evans of winning the NBL One East competition will take a huge hit. Losing a, a star like that and as they Flynn throws it away. She was looking for her hands on the cut, but too hard on the pass. Ball's out of bounds. Another turnover. That's the fifth in this quarter already for the home team. Evans. Munga. Has been outstanding early. Ralph, quick move to the basket and scores. And it's out to a 14 point advantage already. Turnbull. Haynes. 10 on the shot clock. Rod Ponder. Haynes. Baseline, short, rebound Nicole Munger. And she's dominating out there. Well, goes inside and scores yet again. There's Nicole. 20 to four. Sturt and trying to change that, but Evans just too big. Forces a tough shot. Ralph. Evans. Hurrah, left wide open for three. In and out, rebound Abby O'Flynn. O'Flynn tries to look ahead to right ponder, but Evans knocks it away smartly. Newcastle again playing with just seven players this afternoon, but they've come out. A lot more energy Defense. from the winless Bulls. Defense. Ralph. Munger. Nice move. Nicole Munger score it. Goes behind her back, penetrates and lays it up and in. And she has been absolutely dominant so far. Haynes looking for someone to pass to. Eventually finds a fling. Kicks it to Sturton with eight on the shot clock and an offensive foul. Oh, Gabby Turnbull there for a pushing foul. And a timeout has been called by Newcastle head coach Chloe Mullaney. I think that's more just to give her shorthanded team a bit of a rest because this has been one-sided, unfortunately, much the same way as it has been for the second part of the season in many games for the Inner West Bulls. And they've shown at times they they can really be competitive we've seen it particularly early on but uh, as, as time has worn on in this season it's just being found out really for lack of talent and it's lack of conditioning in some aspects as well they've just run out of legs in many cases and a couple of things i've always spoken about with this season with them has just been their breakdowns in defensive transition and their proclivity to give the ball up too easily. 
And it's just resulting on teams going on runs exactly like what we've witnessed in the opening six minutes of this ball game. And they, they just dig themselves these holes, do the Bulls. And they haven't been able to recover. And you can imagine it must be just tremendously dispiriting for these girls, but to their credit, and they've kept hanging in there, no matter the circumstance. Manga. Kingham, step back shot. Ralph, weak side O board. And they'll reset. Hurrah. Manga pulls the trigger splash. Nicole Manga has 15 points in the first period. Spectacular performance. She is absolutely feeling it. Perich. Sturton thinks about three. Now launches it. Perich. Oh, she knocks Munger. That was accidental in the eye there. I'm going to call the foul on Perich. Inadvertent whack to the eye. I think Nicole looks fine. Yeah, just wants to Chloe Mullaney on the bench. And... The Bulls, just to add to their woes, are in the penalty. So, Nicole Munger will go to the line to shoot two. She's already got 17. I gave her 15. She's got 17. Now she's got 18. And she is seven for seven from the field. And perfect at the line there. The first free throws of the ball game. 27 to 4. And Newcastle, they've got, they really need this win. So they've come out with a tremendous attitude and it's showing on the court. Three ball in the air from a Flint is short. Here's Jessica Ralph the other way for the Falcons. Ara. Evans. Ralph, wide open, three, another one. My goodness. Jessica Ralph has five. And needless to say, this thing has gotten out of hand in a hurry. What you really lie, I mean, Falcons are in zone at the moment, but they are really pressing hard. Perich with a short corner. Jay is off the mark. I mean, look at the Falcons push the pace. Evans, foul line, pulls up, banks it in. Everything's going now for the Falcons. They're burning it. They are shooting the ball. 11 of 15, nice pass, Sturton. And the banker goes from Shona O'Connell Shea. Beautiful feed from Georgia Sturton. Kingham. Evans, dribble drive, scoop shot, good. That's just too easy. Penetration down the middle, no split line help. Easy layup for Evans. She's got four in the game. O'Connell Shea fires. Foul line, Jade. She's got back-to-back -back baskets to Shona O'Connell Shea. To give the home team a little bit of cheer. Munga, who's unconscious at the moment. Ralph. Hurrah. Kingham. Corner. Three. Too strong. And that's knocked out of bounds by the Falcons. Bulls possession. And Stephanie Friesen comes in for the Bulls replacing Maya Perich. And Megan Johnson back in the game replacing Fernandez Hurrah. And Sophie Bultitude sees her first action of the game as well. Friesen. Off the window, good. So with the first touch, Friesen gets the balls into double figures. Manga. Evans, 4-3. Oh, offensive rebound, Bultitude. Johnson with another O board, but She's fouled by Friesen, and Megan Johnson will go the line for two.
Negan going to the line for the second time this afternoon. Perfect before, still perfect. Having a good year is Megan, seven and a half points, six rebounds, a couple of assists per game, and about 27 minutes of action. And still perfect at the charity stripe is Megan. Tremendous opening quarter from these playoff aspirants. Another turnover is going to result Nicole Munger. She's just feasting out there at the moment, this Nicole. She's got 21 points in the quarter. 21 for Munger. And she's 8 of 9 from the field. And another turnover. And 3 on 2 here, Evans. And layup is short. Evans will clean that up, though. Evans, baseline, Jay, turn around. Thanks very much. And they drop a 40 bomb in the first period, do the Falcons. And Flynn, and that'll do it. An opening period was just an absolute offensive barrage from the Newcastle Falcons. And the index percent. Just a brilliant performance from them. And for the Bulls, they shoot the ball 35% from the field, but the big stat, nine first quarter turnovers. So we're underway in the second period. Matt McQuaid here with you. As Evans gets inside to Baltitude. Good ball movement around the perimeter. Results in a three ball from Megan Johnson. Yeah, the, the beat goes on for the Falcons. They jump out by 33. Remembering back in round two this year, they went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Bulls for much of the game. They only won by 16. And that was really due to one quarter, which was the, the third quarter. It was a lockdown performance. Uh, sorry, fourth quarter it was. And so they really held the Bulls down, but they, the Bulls gave them everything they could handle. But this is a statement tonight. They're just putting it to them. Turnbull throws up a runner. It's nothing but oxygen. Evans. Throws it away. Oh, Flynn with a, the steal. Kemp. Oh, stolen right back by Munger. And Evans will just walk in and lay it up. So another turnover results in yet another basket. Kemp. Turnbull. Oh, Flynn throws it up. Friesen with the O board and the stick back. So Daphne Friesen has four. But the lead is 33. Evans. Manga. And yeah, stopped out of bounds. Oh, Flynn got a fingertip to it. Now I'll stay with the Falcons as Jade Yeomans comes into the ball game replacing Rachel Kemp. Shayla Wright Ponder will come in for Daphne Friesen. And Nicole Munger takes her first seat of the ball game. Come on, Bulls. Defense. Defense. Jessica Ralph back out there. Defense. Defense. Evans. Steps back. Short with it. And, and Flynn tries to save it, but she can't. Out of bounds, Newcastle possession. 14 on the shot clock. Evans, harassed by Yeomans. Ralph pulls the trigger. That's off the mark. Rebound. Oh, right Ponder just has it taken away by Megan Johnson. And Megan with a stick back, just like that. Megan into double figures. She's got 11. And she's 3-3 three three from the field. And another turnover. Ralph, nice look. Kingham, three air ball. Oh, offensive rebound, Johnson, and she's fouled. And Megan Johnson will step back to the foul line for two shots. Foul assistant number six, Jade, her first. Jade Yeomans on the foul. Her first. And first team foul of the period for the Bulls. 
Amazingly enough, Newcastle yet to commit a foul in this game. Johnson is five for five from the free throw line. And she's perfect all the way around. As Megan, 12 points, three of three from the field, one to come. And finally, I talk her out of it. She misses the free throw, but Baltitude on the board. Ralph, quick pass to Kingham. Evans on a step through, another scoop shot. Not that time. And knocked out of bounds by Wright Ponder. Newcastle possession. Ara will come back into the game, replacing Megan Johnson. And Nicole Munger will take out Sophie Baltitude. Ara. Bulls defense. Defense, come on. Defense. Defense. throws it up and unfortunately knocks out of bounds. And what can go wrong will go wrong, unfortunately, for the girls at the moment in white. And Chloe Mullaney is calling for time. Again, at this stage, when your team has a, a lead like this, it's more about just... Uh, preservation of uh, bodies and anything else just give the girls a break reiterate the message and that was some first quarter they, they just came out with a purpose and just looking across at the Bulls bench John O'Flynn is really the head coach of the Bulls is really trying to lay down the law here but it's tough when you your team just got smacked in the mouth to start this game and just never ever responded. I, know I mentioned before, I mean, they've, they've taken some massive losses I and mean, they haven't won a game all year, but of late they've really been hit hard and psychologically it just must be really difficult for these girls to keep getting up week after week. And playing against well established teams and be mindful of the fact that this Inner West Association has only been around a couple of years. It's one of the youngest, if not the youngest, association in New South Wales. Basketball. And on the women's side, it, you know, they're playing against a lot of teams that have been together for many, many years, and it has told at times. As Munger goes up with another basket, Nicole Munger, and now she has 21 on eight of nine from the field. A flint. Uh, she was looking for Turnbull to cut baseline, but Abby kind of held up on a run there. Gabby, rather, held up on a run. And the ball goes out of bounds. Kingham. Ralph, beautiful pass, Munger, layup again. So at the moment, this is a bit of a training drill, unfortunately, for the Falcons. And he's just doing whatever they want to out there offensively in particular. They flint. Again, the Bulls just looking for anything to go at the moment. Yeomans throws up a tough shot in desperation. And here's Ralph the other way. Ara. King of Munger. Now foul has been called. Full foul on Abby O'Flynn there for a hold as LaShayla Roy Ponder takes a seat. Georgia Sturton back in the game, so. Bull's going a little small. Here we go. Munga. Evans from Kinger. Five on the shot clock. Evans fires. And they, they fight another rebound offensively, this time to Kingham. Evans throws it up. And again, there's Munger. Evans gets it back, score it, and the foul. Evans and Munger just causing absolute havoc out there at the moment. And score for Kyra. And Evans, the Michigan commit. Will be over in uh, Michigan in a you know, playing for the Wolverines in a 
the upcoming NCAA season. Makes the free throw for the three-point play. She's got 13. Munger with 23 for the Falcons. Evans with 13 and Megan Johnson with 12. Rachel Kemp. Yeomans. Turnbull, seven on the shot clock. And draws the foul, which, believe it or not, with 5.23 on the clock, is Newcastle's first foul of the game. And I'm not drawing, I'm not casting aspersions on the officials, mind you. It's just a point of the fact that they've played excellent defence and the Bulls really haven't put that much pressure on them offensively. Sturton tries to change that with a drive, but unfortunately did it illegally according to the official. Foul on Georgia Sturton. Offensive foul. And the Falcons get back possession. Once again, the Bulls now in the penalty the rest of the way. Munger yeah, pushes off Sturton. Gets it inside. Johnson, good defense from Gabby Turnbull, though. And now Jade Yeomans draws a foul. Uh, Newcastle not having a foul called for them in about 15 minutes suddenly picks up two in about 15 seconds. And I think uh, there's a bit of a suggestion of a flop there from Georgia. Or oh, Nicole Munger. And the referee didn't call it. Again. He's feisty, Georgia Sturton. <laughs> He's just throwing the elbows out a little bit there. Gets it from Kemp. Now looks to back down Munger with a step through. Nice footwork. Throws it up and off the mark. Good deep. Nicole Munger. King. Hurrah. Dribbles into traffic. Knocked away. Still Newcastle possession. 13 on the shot clock. Oh, Johnson just cuts to the basket and misses an easy layup. And she knows that was a bunny. And now Yeomans again draws another foul, this time from Kate Kingham. And it'll be Bulls to inbound. Turnbull. Sturton thinks about it. Looks inside and just a little too hot for my Perridge to handle out of bounds. Newcastle, another possession. Hurrah. Johnson. Kinger. Bultitude too strong. Rebound Perridge. Kemp throws it up. Two pieces of the iron. And Megan Johnson with a rebound. Nice hustle from Rachel Kemp. Knocks it out of bounds. And it'll stay with the Falcons. And as Evans will come into the game. Kate King will take a seat. Hurrah. Evans with 10 on the shot clock. And the foul's been called underneath. And call the foul on Jade Yeomans. Check that, Georgia Sturton, for a push. And that's put the balls in the penalty. So Nicole Munger, who was 2 of 2 at the line tonight, has 23 points to lead all scorers goes to the line for a pair. One more for Nicole. As I mentioned before, having an outstanding season. 20 points, 10.7 rebounds, 4.9 assists and 2.4 steals. And it's about the only thing she's done wrong tonight. Missed them both. But there's Johnson. Great hustle. 
Bulls will keep possession. But there you go. It says a lot. And you're leading by 43. And you're still out there hustling for loose balls. They've been outstanding, Newcastle. Yeoman's on the spin. Nice footwork from Jade. She's too strong. Keeps fighting as she inevitably does, but leaves it short this time. Rebound Fernandez Aura. And that's out of bounds. We'll go back to the balls. One of the rare Newcastle miscues tonight. Perridge. Oh, Flynn gets it blocked by Evans. And that's going to be out of bounds to the Falcons. And Tamara Evans, she's got excellent mobility, great size at about 6'3". And flash some of that athleticism there. Baltitude. Johnson. We're going to take Kemp off the dribble. Good defense, Rachel Kemp. Knocks it out of bounds. Still Newcastle possession. Seven on the shot clock. Munger, she's been awesome tonight. Too strong on that three. The rebound comes back to Nicole. Oh, she, I think she was looking for Megan Johnson there. And just a little too hot to handle. Bulls possession. And now it's come off Fernandez Aura's leg out of bounds. Going to have to get it over the halfway line. Instead, they throw it straight to Megan Johnson. Munga. Fernandez Aura. Johnson. Throws it up. Good off the window. She's been terrific. Megan Johnson give her 14 on the night. And the Falcons continue to extend this margin. Yeomans, off the window, good. First basket of the ball game for Jade Yeomans. Got the Bulls with a massive mountain to climb and then some. Baltitude, throws it away. Looking for Fernandez Aura. And it's Kate Kingham will come into the game. Megan Johnson will... Take a seat. The Bulls will inbound through Rachel Kemp. Here's Gabby Turnbull. Kemp. Oh, Flynn. And she travelled. No, offensive foul, actually. Referees have called. Moving screen. On... That'll be... I was going to say, there's no number eight. It's actually number 11. They've got, that, got Abby A. Flynn for that one. As Lashayla Wright Ponder will come into the game. A. Flynn also going to the bench. And Tasman Haynes will come in to replace her. I think there might be a bit of blood on Abby A. Flynn's jersey. There is. Here's Evans. Fires for three. Oh, rebound, Meg, uh, Fernandez Aura, I'm sorry. And rebound, Jade Yeomans off the Fernandez Aura miss. Yeomans, always looking to attack is Jade. Has it knocked out of bounds? Still Bulls possession. Just under a minute remaining in a first half that has been dominated by the visitors. Kemp. Right ponder. Goes hard to the rack, score it in the foul. Well, Shayla Wright Ponder gets one to go. And she will go to the line for the end one. Seventy five percent foul shooter, averaging nearly twenty points and ten rebounds a game since arriving midway through the season. 
I'd like to see with a full preseason and come back next year if she converts a three-point play. So the Bulls, who trailed by 30 after one, down by 40 now, but kind of stemmed the bleeding, if you can call it that. But still, this is a huge margin, obviously. Right Ponder steps back, fires. And rebound comes out to the Falcons. Here's Munger. Falcons can play for the last shot. Bultitude looks inside for Evans. Evans surrounded and she travelled. So a rare miscue there for the Falcons centre. And the Bulls have got five seconds remaining. Turnbull. Yeomans has to pull the trigger. Air ball. And that'll do it. And that is the half time here at the arena in ride with your score. The Newcastle Falcons 57. The Inner West Bulls 17. We're going to take a break here on nbl1.com. Dot au, but stay with us. We'll be back soon. to number 70, the blood jersey. And the Bulls captain will get us underway in the second half. So we're underway. Matt McQuaid here with you. Hope you're enjoying the action. I'm sure you are if you're a Newcastle supporter. Your team has been excellent so far in this half. And once again, this massive pressure that we saw early in the first half, they start at the second and they get the turnover. Munger looking for Johnson and Megan again misses a layup. Just a couple of cheapies, Megan, tonight. But look at the pressure. Still with a 40-point advantage. Go, Bulls, go. And another turnover. This time from O'Flynn. Fernandez Aura. Munger looking for 27. Instead gives it up. Johnson wide open. Oh, nice pass, Megan Johnson, but unfortunately, Kate Kingham left it short. O'Flynn. Sturt. Perich getting it inside to right ponder, and she's fouled underneath. And that's going to go against Fernandez Aura. Bulls possession. Perish. And rebound comes out to Megan Johnson. Here's Evans. Munger fires away. Bang. Nicole Munger give her 28. She's in the sort of mood. She could go for anything tonight. Nicole. Perich looking to answer. And Kingham on the glass. Kingham. Oh, again, who else? Oh, she left it short. Got her own rebound there to Nicole. Evans, little acceleration, but left it short. Right ponder on the glass. Here's Georgia Sturt. Oh, nice move from Georgia. Pushes off with the elbow. Offensive foul. That's going to be called every time. You extend the elbow. Easy call for the official. Georgia will take a seat. Replaced by Gabby Turnbull. And Sturton's fourth personal foul. So... Second leading scorer having to take a seat. Kingham inside to Munger. Munger on the turnaround. Give a 30. Thirty-four Nicole Munger. Twelve of fourteen from the field. Outstanding performance. Kemp. Great defense from the Falcons. 
O'Flint steps back. White Ponder grabs the glass. Here's Kemp off the window, no good. And now Munger's looking out, looking for 32. And fouled heavily there by Rachel Kemp. It's Nicole Munger. And she's all right. And she will sh shoot two. Two or four at the line tonight. Shona O'Connell Shea comes into the game. Replacing Maya Perich. One more to come for Nicole. And give her 32 on the night. 32 points for Nicole Munger. O'Flynn. Right ponder. Goes up with the right hand this time and scores. And so Shayla Right Ponder has seven to lead the Bulls. Now Evans fires away in the corner and knocks it down. Ira Evans on the pass from Munger. She's got 16 in the game. And shot clock. Bit of an issue with the shot clock there. They have to sort out. Didn't uh, activate there. going to run it down to where it should be. 19, and here we go. A fling. Kemp pulls up from the foul line and knocks it down as Rachel Kemp. And here's Munger the other way. Munger straight to the rack. Reverse layup is good. Nicole Munger give her 34 on the night. So how, how far is this going to go for Nicole? Could we be seeing a 50-burger? Hesitation dribble by Kemp and draws the foul. Megan Johnson has been called for it. Bulls possession. Turnbull. On the turnaround, banks it in. Nice shot from Gabby Turnbull. <laughs> His gestures at the referee, that was a flop. Here's Evans. Ten on the shot clock. Ralph using the Johnson screen. Ralph to the rack for the juice. Jessica Ralph goes baseline and scores. She's got seven. O'Connell Shea. O'Flynn. Kemp. Kemp with ten on the shot clock. Gabby Turnbull. Throws it up, draws the foul. Count the basket. And Gabby Turnbull will go to the line. For the end one. And call the foul. On Jessica Ralph. And Turnbull converts the three point play. Five points for Gabrielle. Evans. Ralph. Munger swings it. Kingham, three. Yes. Splash from Kate Kingham. On the feed from Nicole Munger. And turnover is Ralph. Leaking out. Multitude. Oh, great save from Munger. Talk about hustle. 
She's wide open. Nicole, three ball, bingo. Oh, my goodness. Nicole Munger has 37 points. She has put on an absolute clinic out there. O'Flynn looking inside, finds O'Connell Shea for the layup. Uh, Chloe Mullaney not happy about that. Bit of a breakdown in their interior D. And O'Connell Shea takes advantage. Ralph. Voltitude. Inside to Kingham. Off the window with a left hand as Kate. And scores. Number one. Kemp. Nice pass to O'Flynn and she's fouled by Sophie Boltitude and the inner West Bulls captain, Abby O'Flynn, will go to the line to shoot a pair. Chad Yeoman's about to come into the game. Timeout's been Sophie called by Boltitude. Newcastle head coach Chloe Mullaney. And their team holding a sizable lead. On the back of a 22-11 Third period, but really all the damage was done in the opening period. The Falcons dropped a 40 bomb, 40 to 10 after one, and well, it was a bit of a quiet second, quieter at least second period, 17 to 7, and right now it's 22 to 11. So Newcastle. Stay in the top four, and if you're just joining us, uh, their, their star player is well tonight. Their star player has been Nicole Munger, but throughout this year, really, is their centre, Tyra Evans, and she's uh, headed to mind. Well, she's headed to the University of Michigan, and my understanding is she'll be doing that before the NBL One East playoffs, which is uh, great for her, obviously, and it's great to see another Australian play. D1 basketball, particularly at a storied program like the University of Michigan and the Big Ten in the United States and but uh, not so good for the Newcastle Falcons who certainly have had an op would have had an opportunity with her to really contend for the inaugural NBL 1 East crown or even have a chance to represent the NBL 1 East. They certainly not had a chance as um, Abby O'Flynn misses the free throw, but it's just made life a little more, that just much more difficult for them come playoff time. O'Flynn one or two at the line. Manga. Evans. Kingham. Multitude fires. And our oh, rebound comes to Kingham, but it's knocked away by Yeomans. Yeomans and draws the foul. And that'll be Nicole Munger on the foul. She has had a knack of that, Jade. Just being able to draw fouls. And what you like about her is just a constant attack. And this time, the Falcons are in the penalty. Yeomans earns herself a trip to the line for two. What nice. Two or two there. She's 46% uh, on the season, so that'll help those stats. Manga. Evans had a steal, but it was nicely, a seal rather, but it was nicely knocked away. As oh, right, Ponder goes to the rack, but Kingham gets a hand in there and knocks it away. Megan Johnson about to re enter the game. Sophie Boltitude will take a seat. Here we go, Yeomans. Kemp throws it up and scores. Rachel Kemp into the lane. With the sweeping hook shot. Gets that to go. Munger with 37. Make it 40. 40. 
for Nicole Munger. What a performance, and that's her sixth triple of the night. She's six of eight from downtown. Nicole Munger. And we're only in the third period, so how many could she finish with? Yeomans, nice footwork from Jade, and she scores. She's a talent. And what I really love about Jade Yeomans is just the attitude. Never, ever is out of the fight, that one. Evans, Johnson, nice look inside. And guess who has 42? Nicole Munger. That's a great feed. 42. So she's got exactly half Newcastle's total. Now Evans slaps it away. Evans, just way too big. Straight to the rack. Leaves it short, though. And it's knocked out of bounds by the Bulls. Falcons will retain possession. Munger is 16 of 19 for her 42 from the field. Ralph Johnson. The right ponder will save it. Oh, Flynn. Oh, nice pass to Yeomans, but then Evans says, nah, Jade. <laughs> Get that out of here. And yeah, no, Flynn misses the jump up. And that's knocked out of bounds by the Falcons. And then Azora will come into the game. Kate Kingham will take a break. With 1.11 remaining in the third. Right ponder. Off the window, good. So, Shayla right ponder with nine. Four of six from the field. Evans. Munger. Explodes to the rack and draws the foul, does Nicole. Right ponder. Has been called for it. And the push. And Nicole Munger. Seems like she's on this inexorable march to at least 50 tonight. And who knows how many more. She's got 42 with two to come here. One more to come. two at the line. So 43 points for Nicole Munger. Still Bulls ball. And now she's going to get 45. Two points. Not even I can talk her out of that. <laughs> the McQuaid commentary curse. It doesn't work when someone's just doing whatever she wants to. Another steal. And another score. And she's got 47. Absolutely remarkable. And she's hungry for more. Munger. Evans on the rebound. Nine seconds remaining. Throws it away to right ponder. Too strong. Three seconds left too. Here's Evans. Launches it. Oh, off the window. It wasn't far away. Here we go. And that is the end of the third period. A period Newcastle again dominant, led by a remarkable offensive explosion from Nicole Munger, who has 47 of Newcastle's 89 points. And they lead 89-37 with a quarter to play. We're going to take a bench for the Bulls. So that'll be Munger to inbound. So underway in the final period, Matt McQuaid.